Welcome back. So today we're gonna go ahead, install and set up Wireshark to function properly. What is Wireshark? Well, Wireshark is used for monitoring, for used for monitoring of all network traffic, and it does gives us some pretty advanced options there. Why do we need this? Well, before I show you how to do anything in terms of, uh, in terms of this course subject ethical hacking. I wish to show you how you can protect yourselves and how can you be aware of what is going on in your system. So since we will be opening up our system for external communication, we will be allowing traffic from outside to reach us and we will be reaching to outside. Uh, we want to be able to monitor and be aware of what is going on. So that is the primary principle, I guess, to all of this because you want to be able to know what is going on with your own system. By the way, one of the best ways of figuring out uh, whether or not your system is infected, whether or not your system is making unauthorized communication uh, is to set up a proxy through which that system's connections go and then monitor the traffic on that proxy. And if you see something that's not supposed to be there, you know that there is something fishy going on. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and type in DNF. I would advise you to have one root terminal and one non-root terminal, uh, but you can also achieve this by in, the, in this terminal by typing in sudo and then DNF, basically. However, I like to open up a, a, a root terminal, you type in sudo su and you will become root after giving the proper password. So DNF, search Wireshark, and this is gonna give me a couple of options. I can type in DNF install Wireshark, and this is gonna pick one of the two. It's gonna pick on, on the basis of whether your system is 64-bit or 32-bit. The second one is for 64-bit. And then I would like to install this as well. So the, I need the GUI. So Control shift c and the uh, Control shift v Wireshark is also fully usable via the terminal. But for some tools, uh, if there is no need to use the terminal, if the GUI interface, if the GUI interface is nice and fine and dandy, sometimes I like to. Sometimes I do prefer it actually, especially in Wireshark. Although pretty much everything can be done via the command line as well. Wireshark is compatible with pretty much all the operating systems out there. So if you have a MacBook or something like that, you can also install it there and figure it and see what's going on in your network as well. And now. I'm gonna go ahead and start Wireshark as a regular user, and this is not going to work to the best of in the best way because it won't have it. Wireshark has no access to the to the to the network interfaces, and this is a problem. And says no interface can be used for capturing in this system with the current configuration. It cannot run a dump cap. Uh, in child process blah blah permission denied and. It, it's clearly asking you whether or not is uh, whether or not the user is a member of the Wireshark group, and then it's telling me to try uh, to try a certain command, which will help, which will enable for this to occur. So uh, let's go ahead and actually do it and see what happens. Just basically rewrite it from here. I mean, do what would do what the program is instructing you to do. So user mod dash a dash g Wireshark, and then type in your username. So don't type in root, but your username, chronic. So that's mine. Uh, you will obviously write yours and not mine, as it would make literally no sense if you wrote yours. Uh, if you wrote mine, that is, and then press enter. And let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay, so it says still that it cannot actually do this. It cannot actually get the get the interfaces. Well, there are two things that could have went wrong. One of the problems, one of the primary problems, uh, could be that we just need to relog to our system and then actually try to then see if the changes have been applied because usually such changes are not applied until a new session is created. If that fails, we'll go ahead and take a look at a different approach. So let's go here, leave, and I'm gonna go ahead and state that I want to log out. 
and this is gonna pause the recording so we will continue in the follow-up.